Greetings there, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Vanilla Hoy for playing as the Union of Greek Soviet Republics, in which we got a little bit of time before we have to stage an incident in the Bosporus, in which hopefully we can take out territory along here in Turkey, and just have a good time overall. I want to make these guys 40 combat with, which would be very, very nice. Put you guys over here, because, well, we might have a small little conflict with the Turks. Eventually. And I just said, I'm moving you guys. Okay, stop. What the heck is going on? Please, I want to put you over here. Thank you. Come again. And we're doing a little bit of raiding here against some enemy convoys. That's nice. Go ahead and train if we need to. Ooh, hopefully we didn't lose anybody, but maybe we did. Train two more soldiers. Great. And we're running out of fuel. Hmm. Oh, what happened? Cool. We are fighting the Axis. We're not in a faction yet, but maybe we will join the Soviet Union, hopefully. We, if, we, if we have to, we can always join the Allies, probably. But we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. We, get, we got advanced competing machine. Let's grab some better radar, because we can. Because I'd like to build that up a little bit more. Could use a little bit more fuel, not rubber. Actually, okay, on rubber. Surprising, huh? Central Mediterranean. Got a few more fighters. Maybe we could eventually use some French communistic power. Okay. Use some close air support, tactical bombers of some sort. That would be probably pretty bueno. Interwar bombers. We just don't have enough military factories, huh? Seems pretty darn normal. Building up more roads in Crete. Building up some more things there, refinery-wise. Not bad, not bad. The Allies still wants to join, which we might if we can't join the Soviet Union, in which, well, the common turn is looking pretty thick with it, pretty much all of the Chinese in there, so we'll see what happens. Now, what are the Soviets up to? A southern thrust, which means war against Iran, Iraq, and Afghanistan, which... Ooh, Iraq is in the Axis. That's not bad. Iran, no. Afghanistan, no. Hmm... Even the allies have war goals against them. Oh, we actually lost ourselves. That's sad. That is big sadness. Big sad energy, I will say. Do that. Cut you in half. Go here. Cut you in half. Thank you. Cut you guys in half. I'm not sure this actually does anything, but, I, but in my mind, it does. Cool. Help out. Help out. We can only get 1.23 political power a day. There was a comment from yesterday saying that if we do go to war with Turkey and take over the lands, don't take them all over. Just take the coastline for the most part and leave the interior of Asia Minor to them. Which we could try, maybe, depending on if we actually go to war with them. Hopefully we do. But there are no, of course, guarantees. Do you have any upgrades? No, he's looking pretty good. Torpedo expert as well as loading drill master, so. Not bad. And since the Italians are doing well in North Africa, hopefully they can steal some, or shoot down, or sink some things down there, like... Convoys. Yeah, words are hard. Tra trade manufactured ship parts for investments. Rebuke French investments. Talk with them, talk with them. Cool, the Bosporus Gamble. Officials of the Politburo, or from the Soviet Union, have decided to finally make us privy of the clandestine plans for the future of Turkey, and ours is an absolutely pivotal role. The plan is rather simple. We send an unacceptable ultimatum to Turkey, acting on the behalf of the Soviet Union and the International Revolution, and use inevitable Turkish rejection as a ca casus belli to stir up some conflict in the Aegean. Our high command recommends placing our best units along the Thracian border with Turkey, and preparing soldiers for attacks on Turkish territory off the coast of our islands in the Aegean. There are many among our administration and armed forces who doubt we can best the Turkish armed forces in a one-on-one -on -one conflict, but the Soviet Union has pledged to lend its support by initiating an incursion in the north should we fall or fail our initial assault upon Constantinople. Before we do that, let's do this first. Oh, was it just two? It was one? Okay, I thought it was two. There we go. I don't want to do this, but we might have to. These guys are 40 combat with, so they should hopefully do okay. Cool, and you should be led by... A fascist sympathizer, I guess, if we have to. Mr. Beard, dude. Thank you, Mr. Beardy. I'll click on that soon, which will do the next focus, in which we shall do... Revolutionaries of the South. We will never see completely eye-to-eye -eye with the comrades in Moscow, but for as long as Greece dictated its own revolutionary creed, down here in the south of Europe, we shall live free in our true communism. More population, organization, more political power, and a slight loss of construction speed. We have a command economy, huh? Cool. Red militias, industrializing society, political instability, Greek Stalinism. Nice. And Soviet Union's declared one Iraq. Cool. Head on over there and defend as best you possibly can. And the, the Germans have gone to war with... Hey, there you go, yeah. Finally we can join. We join the Comintern. Oh, 
I should probably should not collect enter, but whatever. Can I join them too at the same time? That'd be kind of cool if we can. But, but we'll hold on. Hold off for now. Ooh, that means the Turks might join the Allies then. That would not be ideal. No, they're already in their own faction with Macedonia there too. Oh, they have their own puppet. Look at that. Oh, Macedonia is a puppet of Turkey. I didn't realize that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we got that done. Let's grab some more anti-air, just in case. Awesome. We are missing some planes, of course. But that's pretty much it. How many more days do we have with us? Oh, we have a whole week. Right, so you guys stop training. You guys are no longer inexperienced. And you guys look like you have a good amount of XP. Spread yourselves out a little bit more thinly. Throw you right there. Good luck. Don't die. For the love of God, please. And we're pretty much ready to go. Fortune favors the bold. We're probably not going to win down here, but whatever. One, two, three. There we go. Do Greece proper? That would be bueno, 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 bueno. And the... I am not, was not expecting that, but okay. Why not? We do have our horse boys over here just kind of hanging out. Trying to share why not. Oh, wait. They submit! Okay! In a shocking turn of events to Greek and Soviet observers, Turkey has agreed to every little demand put forward to them. Permissions regarding access to the Turkish Straits have defaulted to their pre-1936 status, and Soviet troops have been invited onto Turkish soil to ensure Turkey are respecting the stipulations of the demands laid before them earlier. Stalin personally congratulated Nikos Zakariadis for the courage his nation showed in ensuring his caper was pulled off and has already begun marshalling troops to prepare for the stationing throughout Turkey. With Turkey neutralized as a threat, the Union of Greek Soviet Republics has been put on notice to pay close attention to other possible theaters of war in the region. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. Second Christiada. Oh, my goodness. Did they leave the faction? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter, then. We're still gonna go to war with them, then. I didn't realize that they would actually s submit. Holy cow. Oh, and the Reich is... Ooh. Yeah, the Reich is probably not gonna do well, since they already have lost some cities to the Allies, and a second front it just is gonna chew them up. War weapons war. Well, that's kind of disappointing. I wanted, I wanted conflict. This has been taken from me. How dare you take it from me? Fine, I got, I got to manually justify then. That's so not cool. But you know what? I don't mind being a faction with the common turn when they have all of China. I guess Vladivostok is gone, but it's a small price to pay. And Iran has joined the Axis, which means the Allies have to fight down here too. Oh, it's so good. And we do have the state transfer tool mod on, finally. I want to give this to Germany. So, hold on. I just want to see. Does it look any... Oh, it looks so much better. I'm sorry, Hungry, but that little blip... I'm sorry. It just... I had to do that. Aesthetically, it just... It's a little bit more pleasing. It's not perfect. I don't like the little bump there, but obviously we can't edit the tools of the provinces here, so... Oh, the Germans are screwed. they got to be completely screwed at this point. And 42, they still couldn't take France. The French Commune... They have a good, a decent amount of manpower. They got plenty of divisions. The Soviet Union has 362 divisions and 90 million man. Hmm. We don't really need more. We don't rely on foreign manpower. Claim the straits. Well, they're gonna go to war with Turkey anyway, so we gotta be prepared for them anyways. If that's the case, hopefully they attack us like a bunch of crazy animals, and we can defend properly. Hopefully. Yeah, I want to make sure we don't lose this area here. I mean, these guys are not great, I would say, but. Some of them are becoming super muy bueno. And of course, it is costing us more manpower to do it like this. Actually, five more divisions. I'd rather have 40 combat with divisions that are inexperienced than these infantry divisions at regular strength. Just because 40 combat with packs of pounds, man, they get real thick. Oh, we're getting invaded Manchu. I don't care. Look at that. Beautiful. We even have the Iberians down here. As long as we don't go to war with the Allies, that's the most important. Lots of war propaganda. UK enforces naval treaties. It's going to crack down violations of the naval treaties. Global response has been one of incredulity that the British would go to war over this. They take their naval superiority or demands very seriously. Oh boy. Well, good for them. Ooh, the Green Islands, yeah. Infrastructure would be probably be pretty bueno. Pretty bueno. Someone says I should release Albania maybe someday. I'll at least take Northern Epirus. Yeah, definitely. Imp 
great. More recon on a recon. Reinforce rate. We're done with our land docking. Finally, it's only 42. Awesome. Grab more entrenchment just in case. Because people really, really want to kill us. And I think we're using bombers, right? Yeah, tactical bombers. So we might as well get some uh, air XP, right? Or user air XP. I need more factories. Hmm. And we need to research better bombers. Holy cow. Level... Zero, basically. Mm, not bueno, man. And we already have war bonds on, huh? And we do have a lot of... Hmm. Coastal forts. That's not bad. Uh, build this one up more. I would love to have as much radar as possible. Now, the Soviets are attacking like a bunch of crazy animals. Because they are a bunch of crazy animals, but they're getting results. So... I doubt that Ger that Turkey will give them the straits, so... I mean, they already demilitarized once. Turkey got bullied. Oh, hold on, the comet are invaded Italy. What the heck? Okay, then. What's next? Yeah, we want to get more soft attack, probably. But, oh, we can't choose this guy. Republicans or fascists have to be loyal. We'll, we'll choose this guy, artillery. Georgios Kos Kosmas. I love that. And we get more population too. Oh, we got to raise our conscription level up probably as well. Mm. Advanced submarine warfare. I love it. We got to go down here. Combine operations rating. More surface detection. Better rating. Efficiency. More organization. Ah, oh, Love it. Only 1.23 a day. Not enough, man. Not enough. And we should have it done within a week ish. Yeah, I don't just don't think the Germans can hold on to it. Hold on. Of course, they would be befriending Turkey, but they're already in the Balkan Entente, so. And just because they have a lot of manpower doesn't mean they have a good stockpile. Ooh, oh my goodness. They have. Oh, they have 116,000 guns. So even if they can't win that well right now. Mm, we can't really tell about air superiority, but that's okay. If they keep attacking, they'll probably find a way to win, hopefully. Better radar? Because why not? Have the best radar. Alright, so we're done with the stuff on the left side of the tree, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Now i got to finish all this stuff. The torpedo? Not a bad idea. Protecting our skies, destroying our foes. Uh, I don't really care for strate strategic bombers. I don't have any fighters right now. Protecting our skies. Battlefield support. Uh, this one just looks better protecting our skies. We have never had the industry to both protect our skies and bomb our enemies. If the situation comes down to whether we want to strike more of our enemies versus saving more of our own from our, their attacks, then we have to choose to save our own countrymen every time. Nice. Uh, I think just overall that's just a better choice for us. And we are raising up more population, which is awesome. Now, you... Wait. Oh, didn't you just do... Annex name tuba? Claim the straight. So you get claims. Okay, so we don't actually go to war yet. Now, I'm glad I justified on Yugoslavia. Uh, what happened to Switzerland? I guess they died. Hmm. Well, okay then. And the Chinese are down here too. Can't go wrong with the Chinese, right? Do we really have so many ships that we can't have one per tile or one per task force? I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it, but. He's almost level 5. Nice. Doing a pretty good job. And the Axis is slowly losing down here, but they're also trying to fight these guys. Oh my goodness. I don't want to cause an extra war for the Soviet Union, because they're already fighting on several different fronts. But, you know, that might just be okay. I mean, they're about to get... They even took Rome. Holy cow. I think we joined the right faction here. Not gonna lie. Palermo. They've even invaded Sicily. Jesus Christ, that's awesome. Angered by Yugoslavian posturing. Yeah, you should be. Because they're doing all Yugoslavian regiments? Yeah, I don't think so. That's illegal. We gotta get rid of those people who do stuff like that. Come on, Soviet. You're doing a great job. You're almost in Königsberg. How many men have they lost? That's quite a few. Especially the Japanese, though. The Germans have lost 1.9 million to the French. 1.1 to the Mexicans? And not even that many to the Soviets. Wow. And the, so the Soviet Union is putting in work. Holy cow. They're invading, like, Italy with the Spaniards. 
Italy's still doing well against the French Commune. They attacking over there. What's going on in Manchuria? Oh, Manchuria. I don't really care about Manchuria. I'll be honest. Don't really care about Manchuria. Mm, yeah, we're probably going to have to go to a service by requirement. I don't want to. I'm going to resist doing that for now, though. But I will have the option available whenever we need to. Supply-wise, how's everything looking? Not bad at all. Alright, so the rest of you infantry. 13, cut you down in half. What do you come up with? Engineers? Great. Dig in, boys and girls. Get some more field hospitals immediately. How strong are these guys? Because it did take out Bulgaria. They don't have that much manpower. That's good. But they're on like limited conscription, so... Makes sense. Oh, is Iran is actually pushing up? Holy cow. They have plenty of manpower. 11 to 53 divisions. Come on, trying to do something. Actually, can I request garrison support from these guys? We don't really need more foreign manpower. They make a good point. Italy, what is... Go when, not even the allies are invading you. It's, it's it's like the Comintern are the allies of this world, where they're just trying to navally invade everything that moves. Of course, if we do go to war with the Balkan Entente, hopefully we can do well against the Romanians as well as the Yugoslavians and the Turks, just because I don't think the Soviets can really deal with more attacks, because they're not doing super great. I mean, yeah, have the Germans attack, 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 but see what happens. Tank-wise, we have no, we literally have no tanks. Sub-wise, we're doing okay. I'm gonna get homing more torpedoes so we get even more sub-attack. I'm gonna take actually you guys off. I'm gonna put you guys right here. See what we can do about that. I doubt we'll be able to do very much. Completely surround Sicily. Put the subs right there. That'd be nice. Oh boy, we're finding a lot of. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Oh yeah, they have to reinforce this the little boot of Italy. Oh my goodness. The Greek subs. They're going to be putting in a lot of, oh, work. Why, why, you're like the Germany of this timeline, Soviet Union. Why do you keep going to war with people, man? You, have, you gotta get back Vladivostok. You're like on a two, three front war, and the Germans are beating you back to a degree. Come on, allies, you gotta do better than this. This is just bonkers. How many divisions do you have? I gotta play as the Soviet Union again sometime. They've got so much manpower. Oh, we actually lost an allied convoy. That's fine. Get Palermo. Can you actually capitulate Italy? That'd be amazing. Oh, Milan's the capital now. Ooh. Uh, we still have 10 task forces. Are you level 5 yet? Oh, he's so close. Force rotation. Nice. Grab some of this. Even better planes. Better planes are better. Better for a reason. Nice. Keep sinking them convoys. We're doing our part. Yeah, let these guys be the, the, the bait. The subs are where it's at. Actually, do we have little 3 subs that we're making? Oh, wait. We have cruiser subs. How do we use those? Subs 3, torpedoes 3, oh, fuel fuel tanks. You get extra range. It only costs 5% more. Hmm, I think we're okay with the range. We actually get aircraft, floating airplane stuff. The surface detection goes way up. We have no snorkels, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Maybe go flotilla. Well, we already have a pretty good amount. That doesn't help us that much. I just want as much sub att a torpedo attack as possible. There you go. These will be devastating. There you go. We can use a few more dockyards too. Uh, but we're running out of places to build stuff, which is not ideal. Oh boy, we lost something. No, we actually sunk a convoy. Awesome. Oh, we've got another ship there. Beautiful. Sub threes. Go, go, go. Rip them apart. Uh, yes. We did most of our naval doctrine already, which is great. God dang, the Soviets. I mean, these guys are putting in some serious work. Getting invaded in eastern China. Germany. Oh, they just must have gone to all adult serve. Because they're looking... 
Kind of thick with manpower. Keep sinking them convoys. Oh, we lost an ally, a little allied destroyer. Okay. Italy, you got to be running out of manpower too, don't you? Because you, you already lost most of you guys. Never mind. They're doing okay. Well, except losing for half, half the country already, but whatever. Is there anywhere else I could, like, hurt them navally? Protecting your skies are always a good thing, right? But, let's see. Defending our seas. Greece has a very large shore and controls a great many islands, while the seas were once one of our greatest defensive assets. Today they hold little bearing against potential foes. If our enemies hope to take our islands or land upon our shores, then first they will have to survive the bombings of our naval bombers. Which is a very good idea. Very, very good thing. Are we still mobilizing? We are? But it looks like we're almost done. Which is not necessarily a good thing. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Actually, trade manufacturer ship parts for investments. I want to see what this does. Like, what do we get rid of? Like, we lose, like, consumer goods, maybe? I just want to try it out. Just to try it out. Oh, we lost a sub, did we? Nope. Why would we lose a sub? Hey, you're level 5, finally. Oh, yeah. That's good. They're slowly winning against the Italians. Slowly. But surely. Ooh, actually, go, go here. Yeah, that's better. Wait, no, 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 not everybody. What the heck? There you go. Stay there. There you go. You can just trade places. It doesn't matter. Alright, so we got that stuff done. Got that stuff done. Get some more uh, construction. Get construction because I want to build even faster. And we're out of manpower. Oh boy. Because we raised the conscription level. Well, we made more divisions. That's why. Words, Mr. Mocha Lover. Words, words, words. Milan, huh? Oh, please get Milan. That'll help out the Germans, or help us out, actually, quite a bit. Okay. An allied sub, or uh, Italian sub, I should really say. Alright, so I want to see if we can actually do anything here. Because our ships aren't great, as we all know that very well. But that's okay. Recon? Put some more recon on a recon, right? Because we're getting four recon already, which is not too shabby. Anything else? We're looking pretty good. We just need more manpower. But you know what? That's just a Greek thing, it seems like. Or really a Balkan thing. Come on, come on. You know what, actually? We have no more planes. 300, huh? Fighters. I don't mind sending maybe 100 fighters here to help out to get some more air XP, maybe? We're getting more. 0.85. Hey! Italy's gone. And it went to the allies. What? Oh, you just cock blocked all the guys down there. What? Oh, this is why we gotta go to war with the Balkan Entente to make our own pathway towards the Axis. And we can go to war within two weeks, so that's not too bad. Why? Uh, you know what? I don't wanna do this, but we need an. an I've, gotta, I've gotta do this. That's stupid. No. These two. I don't, I really don't want to do this. We'll just give it to Spain for now. Like, this is just transitionary territory. They've got to have a front. That's not fair at all. Now, I know this just actually gives the territory to Spain instead of actually just going to Italy after the war, but... They, no. No. They've got to have a war. That makes, that makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. Mm. Invest back into them. we got to get some manpower next, so... Doesn't matter. Oh, and you should have a general... Mr. Beardy Dude. Actually, how about our... Oh, we can't deploy because we don't have enough manpower. Hmm. Water is bueno. We're done with all that stuff, which is awesome. Let's get some better attack bombers, finally. It's almost 43 we're doing 1936 bombers. Go figure. See, that, does, that just doesn't make sense why they can't have an access point here to fight. The, the UK just doesn't deserve this at all. But who am I? Who am I? Alright, so we got enough. Let's go and grab just a smidgen more manpower, defending our seas. And go ahead and go to war. There we go. They immediately attack us. Getting attacked by Southern Macedonia, which is fine. Oh, maybe not yet. We're not at war with these guys yet. Cool. Come on, call them in. 
Oh, maybe do we have to go to word Turkey as well? Oh goodness, don't tell me we have to go to word Turkey. Oh, I'm not splitting my army like this. Oh, that's so stupid. Well, I still have you guys, so. Oh, look at that! We actually are using your task force. Go figure. They're actually somewhat useful. Nice. Um, Soviets, are you okay? Good. Don't mess with the Greek Navy. They will tear you asunder. Finally getting a little more manpower. Good. The British is set to invest. We have just finished welcoming the British investors back to our country after their last short visit, and they bring good tidings of investment and opportunity. With their help, we shall build a truly modern economy. Yes. Now, ooh, hopefully the Soviets don't get involved, because the Romanians are doing it. A little bit of damage to them, which is not good. But we'll see what happens. They still have a million manpower, which makes sense. Stockpile-wise. They're out of guns. The Germans are. Which is a good thing. I think the best thing is just like a slow approach going north. Don't lose a pride of the fleet. But since they're not doing anything over there, come over here. Uh, actually, I need to put you all over here. There you go. There you go. Good luck. Good luck. You're going to need it. Especially to not die. Nice, good. And we have the entire army here that we can use to do whatever we need to, which it seems like we might have to do that. I don't think they'll be able to navally invade. I don't really want to do this, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Get ready to attack. North. Oh boy. Any even bigger group or something here? He's learning a little bit more. You guys are doing what around here? Oh, Lancer Destroyer Leader. You do have quite a few destroyers, so it might not be bad to do that. Less visibility might be good. More damage. 10% isn't very much. Eh. I guess we can. Why not? Hunter Killer. Do you guys use that much? Yeah, you kind of do use it. You might as well use torpedo stuff. Lancer. Might as well. Good luck. Now, I know we left the capital completely open, which is not good, but whatever. Iraq is gone. That's it. One front closed. Awesome. Close that one. Come to the Eastern Mediterranean. Nice. And once these guys are in place, we're going to just unleash as much hell as possible on these guys. Romanians are pushing in a little bit. Soviets are not looking great. Iran is slowly coming down. Afghanistan as well. Japanese are still over there. And we have the kingdom, huh? Fending our Caesars is a good thing. Fun Hellenic Air Force Academy. Our pilots are willing, capable, and competent. It's time that we finally give them the respect that they are due. We shall start by fully funding the Air Force Academy again and properly ramping up production for fighters so that our Air Force is truly worth of Greece. Absolutely. Nice. Suck a destroyer as well. Beautiful. Are you guys ready to go? The Annex of the Union stuff. Good. Good luck. You're going to need it. You should be able to bust through there at least. If not, you are really pathetic. 40 combat with soldiers cannot bust. Oh, they do have some tanks over here too. Hmm. Can we take that tile maybe? Maybe? Nope, we couldn't win. Wow. Screw the Yugoslavians. Oof. 
Did we not... Were we not able to win over here either? Holy crap. Come on, guys. Let's get real. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, what's going on over here? Subbies. Doing stuff. Oh boy. Hey, the Soviets are still over here. The allies are really pathetic, I'll be honest. They're really, really pathetic in this timeline. Um, what you doing? Da, da, da. Oh, 100. That's a lot. Who's attacking? Yeah, the Soviets are. Okay, that kingdom is gone. That's good, I guess. Another remaining convoy go bye bye. With eight divisions attacking, you should be able to win. No matter how much air support they may have. We have Cass, so that should be pretty good, right? See, we won there. Not sure why we couldn't win earlier, but okay. They're weak. Attack. Probably not a great idea, but whatever. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Spain is going crazy. And I kind of like it. But unfortunately, that is all the time that we have for today. At least we joined the common turn, and we're starting to sink some enemy ships, which is a great thing. But regardless, hope you enjoyed it. The next episode might be the last in which we take out the Yugoslavians and the Axis. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will hopefully defeat the Balkan Entente. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.